As we now enter a possible sixth COVID wave, scientists who are advising the FDA are talking about a possible new recipe for the vaccine because of this ever-changing virus and the variants. That's because the original vaccine and booster targets the original COVID strain. And between waning immunity and a barrage of new variants, protection against the illness has dropped in a big way. Moderna and Pfizer say they're looking at targeting the super contagious Omicron variant, which has now another mutation fueling another surge in cases. According to the city health department, one in 10 people has the virus right now, but cautions it's likely a lot higher due to the people who are testing positive at home. Those watching the trends predict the spike is due to the latest variant being more powerful than vaccine or antibody protection can offer. And it comes as the city is now offering new antiviral medications to city neighborhoods mobily to provide equitable access to free prescriptions for eligible people who test positive. We're going to swab you with a rapid test. If that comes back positive, you're immediately going to speak with one of our clinicians. If you're eligible, we'll prescribe for you Paxlovid. You walk inside the pharmacy right here, and a matter of minutes later, you'll walk out with a life-saving medication. This summer, we're going to be unveiling 30 of these units. We're not going to let down our guards. We're going to continue to remain focused and committed to this important endeavor and continue our mission of being as safe, sane, and prepared. And being prepared for the fall is something the city is talking about now when it comes to vaccinating the one million public school students here in the city and making it a mandate. While there is no decision just yet, because obviously that could be the source of controversy, the mayor expects the health department to come up with a decision on this in the next few weeks. Reporting on the east side, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.